Hi everybody! Today I'm going to share with you some tags that I've made for a, ta a tag swap we're doing in the Shabbylicious design team and that involves the original team members which is Lele, myself, Nadeshta and Karen and um, before I go on and explain about the tag I just want to um, let you all know I've had a few messages regarding the design team and how uh, the new team I'm not included in in July and um, am I all right with that and am I sad etc etc I am fine ladies um, we've known about it for quite some time now I um, decided to make a few changes and um, gave Lily quite a lot of notice and she's got a wonderful team together to start in July. We're still friends. We're all still friends in the team. There's no, you know, negative um, feelings whatsoever. So yes, I'm fine. Lily's fine. Everybody's fine. I still love Lily's store and all her products and I will be, um, I'm still in the team this month. So um, yes thank you for your concern I thought it was very sweet but everything's fine yes we're all happy okay now the tag swap what we had to do was each member of the team had to make each member of the team a tag in their particular style so I had to make a tag for Lily in Lily's style a tag for Nadeshta in Nadeshta's style and a tag for Karen in Karen's style I also had to make a tag in my own style that will be given away as a prize pack on Lily's challenge at a later uh, channel at a at a later date. So um, let's get started. I noticed Nadeshta did a video. This is the second time I've actually filmed this, but I noticed she did one, and she didn't say who which the tags were for. And I really like that idea, and um, thought I might do the same thing as well. Keep it a bit of a mystery. See if you can guess. Um, which tag belongs to each person's style. To me it's fairly obvious but you know it might not be to everybody else. So okay the first tag I've made is let's see we'll show you this one first. I'm getting them a bit tangled here. I don't want to get them tangled. Okay so the first tag I have made and they've all been designed the same like they've all got this little pocket at the front here and a hanger and the way I made this was just some cardboard packaging that would be the base of the box that would be the side and I've just bent it over concertinaed a little bit of paper in the corner there and made it a pocket which I will put you know a couple of things in um, when I send it to the people so this is the first tag and I'm not telling you who it's for to me it's blatantly obvious but it might not be to you uh, I will list each of the DT members in the swap in the description box below so you can visit their channels and perhaps try and work out which one belongs to who okay most of the items on the tags are from Lily's store that was the whole idea of the swap to showcase her products and to use as much as possible on the tags themselves so as you can see I've used her beautiful pink trim around the edge there I've also used this white lace at the front cut some of the pink flowers off this trim and put it on the front there used her a very pretty pleated trim along the bottom there and I've also used it for the little girl's dress at the front with a few little bits of applique and doodads on the front of her dress one of Lily's art tiles tucked in there and a doodad in her hair I got this image from the internet I think it's a prima image I'm not sure but I don't have these kinds of stamps so I thought well I'm not selling it I'll just um, copy the image and I used my son's coloring in pencils to um, to color that in so you will have to excuse me and please don't laugh um, I don't have Copics or anything like that these little flowers are also from Lily's store and this little bit of pink trim was one that Angie sent me such a long time ago that I came across the other day when I was um, putting some of the things that Jean sent me away so thank you for that Angie and that's the first tag the paper is actually one that Zephy sent me some time ago and I'm not quite sure I think it may be um, designed by Finnebear I think but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but it's very colorful and I hope it matches this lady's style so that's the first tag 
that I've made. The second tag is this one here and this is done in the same way. I've used some book paper to concertina the sides. It's covered in the Norwegian book paper from Lily store with some offcuts of lace to hold the mesh hanger that is also available at Lily store as well. I've made this um, trim down the bottom because I'm running out and um, this is just some tassel trim with some beading and beading all across the bottom there as well. I don't know if you can see that. Lots of filigree pieces from Lily store and there's two corners and a larger one there at the top. I've covered the front with lace and I've just cut some of the little appliques out of the wedding trim and lots of doodad flowers, a little bit of cheesecloth, vintage image with some glitter around it there. And that large doodad is from Hester also which is a pearlized one so basically a lot of this stuff is from Lily's store. And that's the second one. The third one please don't laugh. This is just not a style I'm used to working with. Um, so here we go. Same style once again. We have our concertina paper. We have a case craft paper there and I'm not quite sure of the name of it. I also have a love heart doily that was from a kit that I bought off Lily quite some time ago now and Lily does sell kits from time to time on her Facebook like page so you may want to um, go over and visit her like page because she has some lovely kits that she puts up every so often and sells. I have lots of doodads um, that are painted over. I have the, the metal leaves and a big one here. I have doodads and buttons and more leaves and bits of trim in there and eyelash lace. I have the butterfly and it's glittered. A couple of little flowers and some flowers from Lily's store and I have her beautiful leaf trim that I sprayed with something down the bottom there um, and some big pieces of bling. So that's the third one. Um, it has a stick pin there as well and one of Lily's lovely little music note leaves. So that's the third one there. I wonder if you can guess who they are for. And last but not least I have this one. And this one's very pretty. It has some tassel trim down the bottom there. It has some ruffle lace and they're all from Lily's store. All these flowers and leaves and this metal leaves and a butterfly that have got white washed. I've popped some bits of tatting in there. I have a napkin on the back with lace over the top. I have some pearl beads around the edges that I've gone over with white paint. I have one of Lily's butterflies acting like wings behind this lovely little tart tin. It's a vintage one. I also have a lovely little frozen Charlotte here. That's an original. That's not a Tim Holtz one. And it's tied in there with a little bit of antique lace and some little doodads from Lily's store that are hanging there. And that little frozen Charlotte can come out if the person would like to use it when they receive this. Um, but the lace will hold it in there on the tag in the time being. I've got this trim to hold it up and that's the back there. And that is the last of the tags. So they, let's just move that over so you can see it. They are the four tags that I've made in four different styles and to me I think it's blatantly obvious who they go to but it might not be for you. So let me know who you think they belong to in the comments below and what you think of them and um, do go pay the other ladies a visit they will all have videos up of their tags and Adeshta already has hers up and Karen and Lily will have theirs up um, quite soon as well okay well thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you like the tags like I said and have a lovely day bye